is everybody's favorite because you know you can make so many variations and it is very easy to handle easy to cook and so on today we're going to make kali mirch chicken koftas so for this first the technique is how you're going to make the koftas and the chicken koftas malai ki tarah muh mein gal jayega hmm hello Namaste, Salaam Walaikum, Sasriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your wash chef at Vareva.com. Today we are going to make this awesome chicken koftas in a nice peppery gravy. Here is chicken mince and unfortunately there is not enough fat. So what will happen is this chicken when you cook into koftas they will become little bit hard. You don't want that, you want to introduce fat. There are two three ways you can do. You can take a piece of butter, add to it or else you can add cream to it little bit and there is another way we can aerate this by adding little bit of chopped onion the chopped onion when it is when you fry the koftas they will get blended in the flavors and it will be good and another flavors what you can add you can add some chopped coriander and i'm just going to add some ginger to this and in this i'm going to add little bit of uh, black pepper also but most of the pepper we're going to add in the gravy so very little now what more masalas you can add if you like that masala kind of the gravy is going to be kind of whitish and uh, not too much of spicy hot will be there the pepper will be there chili but we are not going to add too much masalas we're going to make the kofta masala dar so we're going to add little bit of uh, garam masala little bit of jeera powder little bit of coriander powder that's it mix it look at this how i'm incorporating fat the cream with the onions everything add the salt i always prefer the koftas to be you know slightly one inch higher than the gravy the saltness in the koftas will make them tasty when you take the bite you will get that kick of the flavor mix all this mixture then we are going to fry these koftas you know convert them into nice koftas now frying these koftas do not fry it in a hot oil nor in a low heat you know in the medium hot oil just drop these koftas and they will come out nice and juicy when you put them in the gravy they will also suck in those juices from the gravy and make this kofta absolutely delicious try and fry these koftas in a medium hot oil for little long time you need to cook these koftas around 70 percent in the oil and 30 percent you need to cook them in the gravy what this will do is it will protect the koftas to get a perfect shape and also they won't break when you put in the gravy so fry them and then we're going to remove them this should be good enough the outside is cooked rest of the thing will slowly cook in the gravy Till they are slightly golden, I don't like too much brown koftas, this should be good enough. They are nice, soft, if you don't add the butter, they will become hard and you will not enjoy the koftas. This way, they will be juicy. You bite into your kofta, you got to get those juices flowing and the flavor should literally burst in your mouth. For this, we are going to make a gravy, in this we are going to add some oil, in this we are going to add whole garam masala but very little one cinnamon stick clove cardamom and bay leaf in this we're going to add onion we do not brown the onions in this when you fry this whole garam masala properly you will get the aroma right away so never put it in a very hot oil in a medium hot oil is when you drop these clove spices now i'm going to add some butter this is going to be kind of rich and very tasty gari so now look at this i did not add you know butter into the hot oil I let the onion saute a little bit. What this will do is, it will prevent the butter from discoloring. If you put directly, it may get brown. Why should you do that? Let the onions also saute till this butter melts. In this, add some salt. And in this gravy, instead of yogurt, I'm going to use milk. So, I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes. We're going to add milk, not so much, but first add a little bit of all-purpose flour, that is maida. This will kind of give a very nice smooth texture for the gravy and now add milk little by little that should be good enough in this we're going to add almond paste already the maida will give you slight thickening the almond paste add to this in the hotels when we do this kind of gravy especially almond paste cashew nut paste we let it cook for one hour on a medium flame but you have to bring this to a boil and let it cook but you don't need to cook such a long time even for 10 12 minutes is good now you have to bring this to a boil till then you have to be around because otherwise it will stick at the bottom and burn i prefer to use non-stick pan at home so that it doesn't stick at the bottom it comes to a nice boil very creamy kind of aroma and all that now you can add water lot of water i'm adding and let this boil for 15 minutes 
after slow boiling you will get consistency keep it little bit thinner and then drop the koftas and you have to let them cook for another you know at least 5 6 minutes so that the koftas also get cooked from inside the slow cooking we going to do a tempering for this with green chilies the shallots garlic which will give a excellent flavor in this we going to add some crushed black pepper this is what the kali mirchi the flavor for this gravy will be super good and the green chili what we are going to add will give that additional flavor that will make this super the koftas are getting cooked and what we do is we take hot you know in the oil in the hotels we have the hot oil always ready we kind of saute and add to this in this we are going to add green chili add shallots i'm going to add little bit of hing that will give a very nice flavor hing and garlic both of them have similar flavors saute them and add to this there are too many chilli seeds here you could have removed them also but that will give a very nice aroma so let this cook for another 3 4 minutes and switch it off this is ready to be served usually you enjoy these kind of curries on pulao biryanis everything you will enjoy these things in another few minutes let's serve this the gravy is all ready look at them the gravy and the koftas wow the shallots also will give a very good taste you know often in this kind of gravy i love to pick the shallots and eat and those green chili also will be super it's not too thick it's not too thin just right it coats the kofta so perfect when you take a bite the juices will burst in your mouth look at this beautiful koftas with the gravy and the gravy the right amount of butter everything in this a green chili a shallot and the masalas the beauty is the gravy has a kind of nice uh, sweet milky flavor in between you will hit that little pepper water crushed pepper what we added and the green chili flavor this will be just too good so let's enjoy it as i told you you can enjoy it with uh, uh, biryanis and all that but even with a roti a rumali roti a naan or anything this will be mm. and these koftas when you just crush it in you can see it is nice and juicy that is very very essential that the koftas have to be nice and soft mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> jadu hai kuch nasha hai the gravy is so awesome and the chicken koftas malai ki tarah muh mein gal jayega mm. this is what i call perfect dear friends you have learned some simple techniques and this is what will make your day very special make it eat it and keep saying vare va just outstanding super perfect and amazing and when you hit a shallot mm, when the green chilies become nice and soft mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, just out of the world wow magic with chef money